Well hi there folks and welcome to the woods and welcome to another video I'm out today with Claire, Claire's just sat there chilling As you can see we're at our bushcraft base camp Hello Claire And we're out with Bramble Our Bramble's here as well, aren't you girl? Come say hello And we've come out today, I've just recently purchased a new hammock And we've came out today to have a go at setting it up and see what it's like So what we'll do We'll go and find some a suitable spot to set it up and uh, we'll bring you back along as we do so. Right then, should we take a look at this hammock? Yeah. Right, as you can see, it's still in its original packaging from uh, it being delivered to my house. And I've bought the One Wind Zippered Hammock and apparently it's a post, supposed to be a really comfortable and really good hammock. Uh, a guy called Lee from Burton Outdoors, he, I'd, he recommended it. So... I went on his say so and thought I'd give it a try. Uh, apparently, you can lay across this hammock. It's 11 foot long uh, and it's a lot wider than the likes of the DD front line. So, I thought, uh, as I mentioned, I thought I'd get it and give it a go. But uh, we'll give it a go and get yeah. it set up, I see what it's like. Right, we'll go and attach the first tree hugger to uh, this tree here. And I think they recommend to set them roughly around about head height. But with this ground sloping down, I think I'll take it up just a touch higher and we'll see how it goes with that. Bring that a bit of elastic further here because we need that for a little bit later on. Right, we'll just put that there and we'll put the other tree hugger over at the other side. I think we'll just go straight here and we'll just bring it round to this tree went that way about head height because we're we'll help if i get it the right way won't it bring that round that way about head height right i believe that you pass the tree hugger through the back and then we take it through this part along the front of the buckle and that way we can pull it and it cinches cinches in on itself and then you just bring it out and do the same at the at the far end do you want to be the first to try it out no. shall i try it out yeah. here it goes there's nothing that i'm going to stab myself with is it if i fall oh, oh my god yeah. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I think we need to tension a little bit more. <laughs> Bramble, man. <laughs> well, I think I need some... No, don't you get on as well. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bramble. <laughs> right, come off out of the way. Let me up. <laughs> oh, dear. I think we need to tension that up a bit more, don't you? Right, I'm going to try this again. I've uh, lifted the tree huggers higher in the tree and I've brought the pouch over to this side so I can put the insect net in. But we'll uh, set the camera down and we'll give this another try. Yeah? Wow, it's actually amazingly comfortable. That's loads better, isn't it? Yeah. Is, my, is my ass further off the floor? Yeah. Oh, Bramble. He's Bramble. Bramble likes the hammock. What do you think, Bramble? Hey, do you like the hammock? <laughs> uh, do you like this hammock? I think I might take my wellies off and have a go lying down. Oh, my me. <laughs> and don't you nick me wellies. <laughs> right, we'll give this a try. Oh, my dears. Oh. Bramble, you can bugger off. It's bloody banky already. Oh, my. Oh, Claire, it's well comfy. We can put your legs either side of it. You're not. Put, but you might as well. The dog's got it filthy. I think this end needs to come up a touch more. Yeah. Do you want to jump out and we'll pull that end up a little bit more? Huh? Well, go on then. <laughs> hey. No, I won't. 
<laughs> oh then get your backside out there we go as you can see i've got the under quilt attached um i think i could probably do a bit of a better job than this it needs a little bit of a more of a configuration so if you're familiar with this hammock and this under quilt any tips about a attach the under quilt uh be massively grateful if you could leave that in the comments but we'll have a little uh try getting in the hammock with the under quilt on how well can you see out of that mesh it looks really good i'm quite impressed i'm overall first impressions of the hammock are pretty good and it is it is really really comfortable like i'm just laid there now and just uh i don't want to put my wellies in because uh I don't want any more mucky than what the dog's got it. But yeah, I could just do with a sleep now. Well, my first impression of the hammock, I think it's absolutely cracking bit of kit. I'm looking forward to getting a night out in it. Um, Claire's there testing it out already. Um, also comes with a set of pegs and some bungee cords. And they simply attach to the side there and you can open the hammock up a little bit more. But it comes, up with, comes with this as well, which I think is a good idea. It's just a, like a little bit of a organizer that attaches to the internal ridge line it cinches up and it's just you can put things in like your mobile phone uh head torch so you know you've got things to hand if you need them through the night that's a cracking idea yeah as i mentioned i'm over the moon with a hammock it looks it really does look like a great bit of kit and thanks lee from burton outdoors i'll drop a link to lee's channel in the description thanks for the recommendation mate it really does look a great hammock and i'm as i mentioned looking forward for getting a night out in it um i'm gonna leave the video here we're gonna just chill out a little bit are we yeah. so we'll say bye for now take care we'll see you on the next one and as always stay safe and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and check out our other content bye for now